In this video, I'm going to show you how to make mini cups of coffee, cupcakes, and croissants. To make the cupcake wrapper, I made a little cylinder and then I made one end of it a little bit wider than the other. Then I used a needle tool to make slight indents all around the cupcake wrapper. And when you're finished shaping the cupcake wrapper, just bake it. And then I used silicone mold putty to make molds for the cupcake base. Now I'm putting translucent clay into the cupcake mold and I'm using a ball tool to just press it in. Then I'm using a needle tool to make the wrapper edges look really realistic. And I'm adding sand and like little gravel pieces to some tan clay. And this is going to look like a banana nut muffin. You can use different tools to add texture to the top of the muffin. And I'm using chalk pastels to color it. I mix two reds to make the red velvet cupcake color. And I use brown clay for the chocolate cupcake. And I'm going to use acrylic paint to paint the bottom of the cupcake bases. The most important thing to remember is that the lighter color should be closer to the top and the darker color should be closer to the bottom. To make the frosting, I pushed white clay through a number 14 star tip. And then I just kind of twisted it around until it looked like cupcake frosting. I used TLS to stick the frosting to the cupcake base. I pushed pink and blue clay through the same star tip to make cotton candy frosting. Mix translucent and tan clay together to make the color for the croissants. And then I just rolled out the clay and cut it in half. And then once I cut it in half, I cut those two halves into triangles that look really, really long. Then I took one individual triangle and fold it down a piece of it and you just want to keep overlapping that all the way until you get to the bottom and then you'll have somewhat of a croissant shape. And from here, you can just kind of squeeze the edges and press them in. I used a blade tool to add texture to the croissants, but you can use a razor blade or a needle tool. And I used chalk pastels to color the top of the croissant. And I used a yellow color, an orange color, and a brown color and I kind of mix them together and you only want to add the darkest colors to the top because that's where it will have gotten the darkest and the lighter colors should be kind of in between. I printed out the little cups 
and the little bags and then I used um, binder clips and glue to keep them together. It's important to score the edges of the bags before you fold them because it'll just make your folds really clean. And for the cups, I just rolled them together and then added glue to one edge and then used the binder clips to keep them together while they dried. To make the clear plastic cup, I sketched a little template first and then I cut that out. And I used Shrinky Dink, which I found at Hobby Lobby, which you can also find it at Michael's or probably even Walmart. It's just shrink plastic, and you just want to tape the template to the plastic and then cut it out. And you just want to glue these cups together just like you did the paper ones, only you'll use a little bit of a heavier binder clip because these are a lot thicker and sturdier than the paper cups. Then I added a little bit of translucent clay to the bottom of the clear cups and used a ball tool to press it in. And I'm going to make an iced caramel macchiato so I'm going to use resin and I just mixed equal parts of both the resin and the hardener. Then I added some gold soap colorant to the resin and I just mixed it in really thoroughly. And then to some separate resin, I'm adding white and a little bit of the gold color. And the ice is actually called translucent fill, and it's used to fill vases for floral arrangements. And now I'm just adding each layer to the cup and then slowly mixing it in. make like a passion iced tea I use pink food coloring from this neon food coloring kit that I got from a grocery store and I mixed it the pink food coloring with resin and then I just added that to a little cup with some more ice to make the coffee cup lid I started kind of with two different pieces and then connected those together. And then I trimmed a quarter of each edge and then wrapped around this little piece. And basically you just have to follow kind of what I did because it's hard to explain. But once I did that, I baked it and then made a mold of that so I could make different color lids. And once you've made and baked the lids, you can use glue to glue them to the little cups. And thanks to everyone on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for sharing your pictures with me.